Hi all, this is VC from VC's Academy. In today's class, we will discuss about some common human diseases caused by microorganisms. Before going into the class, if you are visiting my channel for the first time, please subscribe and press the bell icon so that you will get all my videos in the form of notifications. Let's go to the class. What are the common human diseases caused by microorganisms? There are many, but in class 8, there is a chart which describes or which gives info about human diseases caused by microorganisms. Chart I have taken it from the textbook itself. So what are the human diseases caused to organisms and how it is transmitted and what are the preventive measures to be taken that all we will see in this class. So coming to the concept of disease or we have four different segments here. What are they? Disease caused in humans. What are the causative organisms? What is the mode of transmission? And what are the preventive measures which are in general to be taken? Coming to tuberculosis, which is caused by bacteria, which is a microorganism. And the mode of transfer or mode of transmission of the disease is by air. So as we have told in my previous classes that the pathogens can enter either by food or water or by air or by physical contact. So now we will see the categorizations here. Tuberculosis, which is also called as TB, caused by bacteria is transmitted through air. And coming to measles, which is caused by virus, is also transmitted by air and coming to the chicken pox which is caused by virus is also either by air or by physical contact or direct contact coming to polio polio is caused by virus uh, the causative organism is virus and the mode of transmission for polio is air or water for all these conditions all these are the mode of transmission is same that is air, tuberculosis, measles, chicken pox, polio. All these have the common mode of transmission. And coming to the causative organism, tuberculosis is bacteria, whereas measles, chicken pox, and polio is by virus. So coming to the preventive measures. So we have to keep the patient in complete isolation and keep the personal belongings of the patient away from those of the others and vaccination is to be given at suitable age very immediately we have to take care that the person who is either with tb measles chicken pox or polio has to kept in complete isolation and we have to take care that the belongings of the person who is infected with tuberculosis measles chicken pox or polio uh, that person's articles or items or clothes or personal belongings whatever we should not touch and they should be kept away from others who are residing with him and for this we have to take vaccination at a given suitable age early identification is very very important for this and then if you take proper medication we will get cure nowadays we have a viral infection or viral disease spread all over the globe is coronavirus. So the for, for this also, we have the same thing that we have to keep, keep in isolation or we have to be in home isolation and all. We have to take care of uh, having physical contact and we must not have uh, any physical touch with others and all. So in such a way, it is very, very important that these are to be taken into our mind and kept in our mind while having or while coming across such type of infections. Coming to water mode transmitted diseases or the diseases which are transmitted through water is majorly bacterial diseases. They are cholera and typhoid. Cholera is transmitted by bacteria either by water or by food. As I have told that in my previous class, that house flies will sit on the food from a garbage and all they will come and sit on the uncovered food and all this will cause 
a serious effect on the body and may lead to cholera and that is the reason why we say that we need to eat properly cooked food and we must avoid uncovered food coming to typhoid typhoid is caused by water transmission and that is also by bacteria so we have to take personal hygiene and good sanitation habits and we have to cook proper we have to eat proper food which is cooked properly and we have to boil the water and we have to take vaccination so what are all the measures we have to take firstly we have to take personal hygiene and good sanitary habits and then we have to consume the food which is cooked properly and finally proper vaccination is also very very important coming to hepatitis a which is caused by virus and the mode of transmission of this hepatitis a virus is water and how to clear it or how to take the preventive measures for avoiding hepatitis a virus is drinking boiled water and having proper vaccination so next we have malaria malaria is caused by protozoans and it is spread with the mosquito so malaria is a protozoan disease malaria is a protozoan disease and the mode of transmission of this disease is through mosquito as i have said in my previous class which mosquito is responsible female anaphylis mosquito is responsible for the spread of malaria so what are the measures to be taken we must use mosquito nets and repellents and we have to spray insecticides and control breeding of mosquitoes by not allowing water to collect in any surroundings or in our surroundings so once again how many diseases we have discussed here we have discussed around eight diseases which are categorized into four the mode of transmission is different here tuberculosis measles chicken pox and polio is by air cholera and typhoid is by water or by food hepatitis a is also by water and malaria is by a mosquito coming to malaria causative organism is protozoa hepatitis is virus and cholera and typhoid bacteria tuberculosis is also bacteria measles chicken pox polio are virus causative diseases and coming to the preventive measures for all we have to take proper hygiene good food which is properly cooked and proper vaccination avoid mosquito breeding in our surroundings by spraying insecticides and controlling them and maintaining proper isolation and having proper medical care this is all will make us free from diseases or the microbial diseases which will cause a severe effect on human beings i hope you all understood the concept thank you